The governor of the central bank, Ali Al Alak, confirmed today, Wednesday, that the new mechanism for granting dollars to travelers requires the delivery of the amount after the departure stamp, indicating that the process began a few days ago, but in general it is proceeding smoothly, noting that the bank began at Baghdad Airport, then Basra, then Najaf, and now the procedures are based on opening outlets at the airports of Erbil, Soleimaniyat, and Kirkuk. Al Alak explained that lifting restrictions on some banks is receiving the attention of the bank, which is close to resolving the problems and developing appropriate solutions to ensure stability and growth for the banking sector. Al Alak stated in an interview with the official agency, followed by the 964 network, that there will be meetings with the Federal Bank and the U.S. Treasury Department to review all aspects related to foreign transfer operations and supervision of banks. They will be held at the end of August in New York to discuss a number of files, including sanctions on some banks, noting that what appeared in terms of talk, interpretations and additions to what happened in the previous meeting in Washington was not in fact the quarterly meeting and we did not meet with the Federal Bank but rather we attended other meetings and there was a visit on this occasion to the U.S. Assistant Secretary of the Treasury and a normal meeting that discussed general matters during which he confirmed the success of the central bank in leading the steps it is taking, whether with regard to foreign transfers or the cash sale of the dollar, which has also been developed to ensure that the traveler obtains the dollar indicating that previous operations in granting the dollar to travelers were hindered by many problems and speculators tried to enter these operations by various means, which negatively affected the dollar as well as the use of other people's passports. He pointed out that the new mechanism ensures the elimination of these methods, as the dollar is not given to the traveler until after the departure stamp, explaining that the process began a few days ago but in general it is proceeding smoothly with some remarks, and there are teams present at the airports to monitor the process and obstacles, and this will ensure 100% in achieving our goals, which is to reach the real traveler, as we started in Baghdad, then Basra, then Najaf, and now the procedures are based on opening the ports at the airports of Erbil, Soleimaniyat, and Kirkuk. Al Alak explained that lifting restrictions on some banks is receiving attention from the central bank, which is close to resolving the problems and developing appropriate solutions to ensure stability and growth for the banking sector, indicating that several meetings were held on the issue of lifting restrictions on some banks, and through them we reached a plan that will ensure stable results for the future, he added. The plan related to reforming and lifting the restrictions on banks includes two axes. The first relates to conducting an audit of previous operations that were suspected by an independent external audit office. Some of them have been completed, while we are waiting for the completion of the audit of the others so that we can understand the overall picture and classify the nature of these problems and how procedures will be carried out regarding them later. He pointed out that the second axis of the plan is receiving international acclaim through the central bank contracting with an international consulting firm to work on developing a strategy for the banking sector in the future, determining the size of the existing problem, placing it in an independent framework, preventing its recurrence, and reformulating the banking sector, noting that this plan is based on an inventory of the size of the banking sector in Iraq, the number of banks required to be in Iraq, the size and activity of these banks, and what are the rules, policies and procedures that they adopt in order to be stable and accepted locally and internationally. He explained that this plan was initiated by the central bank through the consulting company and will take time to determine the scope of work and the goals we want to achieve, indicating that alongside this plan, another plan is being implemented to reform the government banking sector. Al Alak pointed out that the Prime Minister holds monthly meetings with the international consulting company concerned with reforming the government banking sector, noting that the continuous follow-up by the Prime Minister has given momentum to the progress of reform processes, whether at the government or private levels, and that the fate of these banks will be decided on clear foundations, not patchwork treatments or ill-considered reactions.
Alalak pledged to reach a real, stable banking sector that is consistent with what is required at the national economic level, and to prevent some banks from remaining marginal and not representing a real addition to the Iraqi economy, and to gain external acceptance through an agreement to implement international policies, procedures, and standards. Alalak explained that the central bank did not specify a share for foreign transfers for banks, and they can submit whatever foreign transfer transactions they can attract, and the central bank does not interfere in customers' choices, and the banks that carry out this process rely on their capabilities to attract their customers. He pointed out the central bank's efforts to strengthen and support the role of the Trade Bank of Iraq to assume a greater role in the foreign trade process, denying that there is any talk of reconsidering the issue of the exchange rate.